Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this video right now, you probably watched my Halloween look that I did featuring this wig, and it was my cotton candy girl look. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can create your own custom cotton candy wig. So when I wanted to do this look, and I wanted to do the big cotton candy hair, there were no cotton candy wigs online. All of the pictures that you might see, those are all custom made wigs. So I have some products here that really resemble real cotton candy, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can create this at home for Halloween. It's super easy, it's really fun, and I love cotton candies, so I figured you guys would love to see how you can make your own DIY cotton candy wig. I'm gonna have all of the products linked down below that I used today for this tutorial, and if you guys wanna check them out, then be sure you check out the description box. And before we jump into the video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And without further ado, let's jump into the DIY cotton candy wig. So most of the products I'm gonna be using today, you guys can pick up at Hobby Lobby. All of these products cost about $50, and I found them all there. So the first product you'll need is a styrofoam head. So here is the head I'm gonna be using today. I know, creepy, right? This is gonna work, and it's gonna be the base of everything. We're gonna be able to work off of it and put the cotton candy wig on top and, you know, create it on this head. You're gonna be needing some scissors. You are gonna need some roving wool, and here I have Showstopper by Yarn B in light pink and light blue. This is actually half roving wool, half acrylic, and half polyamide. So this is actually not wool, but it looks a lot like wool, and it looks a lot like cotton candy. So I got these two colors. You are going to need an eight inch wreath base and a styrofoam cone. You'll need some T-pins, and I'm gonna be using this to secure things into the wig and also to secure the batting onto the wig base. You're also gonna need some polyfill batting. And I'm also going to be adding some finishing touches at the end, glitter, sprinkles, to make it look like real cotton candy. So if you wanna go ahead and grab a few products to accent the wig, then that would be perfect. The glitter sprays are from Be Wild. And this glitter I purchased at Michael's and it's Recollections. There's a few different shades in here that we're gonna be using. I also have some glitter dust and silver. These two items that I have here, the cone and the wreath, are gonna be used to shape the cotton candy hair. So all the height and everything is gonna be made from this. So we're gonna wrap these first. So we're gonna start cutting into the polyfill and we're gonna cut strips so we could wrap them individually around the cone and the wreath. It'll be easier to work with strips and not just a really large piece. So I'm just cutting really large strips from the batting. So now I'm gonna start wrapping the batting around the wreath and I'm just gonna make sure that I cover all of the green with the batting. So I'm gonna continue wrapping the wreath with batting so we can make it thick and fat enough for the cone to sit inside and not move. So I also wrapped the cone, and as you can see, the wreath and cone are wrapped pretty heavily so they can fit into each other and hold tightly. Now that I have a lot of this base built up, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on top of the mannequin head and I'm gonna secure it in with some T-pins. So right now, what you're creating is gonna look a little questionable and it's gonna come together. You just gotta keep going. We're gonna keep building on top of this base to make it really big. Doesn't look great right now, but it's gonna look amazing. I'm gonna take the polyfill batting and I'm gonna wrap this around the head starting at the base and we're just gonna keep building it up around. So now we've created the base, it's very high. I really built up the height of it and I pinned the back in with T-pins just to secure it into the cone. And this is our shape. We're gonna start wrapping the wool around. So now I'm gonna go ahead and spray in sections the base of the wig we're creating with spray adhesive. 
and we're gonna start swirling the wool around like cotton candy. So I'm gonna work in small sections and I'm also gonna add in some baby blue, but first we're gonna do the main color, which is this blush pink. So you wanna cut the wool into small pieces like this so you can wrap it really evenly and you can fluff it out like real cotton candy to make it nice and fluffy. I'm gonna add a lot of this to the wig because I want a really big cotton candy head of hair. So I cut a really small section of the wool and placed it in the front of the wig because I want a side swept look for this. I'm just spraying in a little adhesive and then laying that down. I'm also going to add some blue in the front as well. So the wig is starting to look a lot like cotton candy. I'm really pleased with the way it's looking. So I'm just kind of spraying these sections and I go all around first because I make it a lot easier that way. And I'm starting from the back and wrapping it around just like cotton candy. And I am loving the way this is looking. It looks so much like cotton candy. A lot on camera, but even in person, it, it looks like real cotton candy, like I want to eat it. So now that we have most of the pink cotton candy on the wig, we're gonna add in the blue, which is personally my favorite cotton candy. And we're gonna put little bits and pieces of blue just throughout, and I also wanna add some blue to the front of the wig as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the wool and really fluff it out and I'm gonna add some right by the underside of the wig. This is gonna conceal the wreath underneath, but it's also gonna add a little bit of texture down here, a little bit of some fluffiness hanging down, just really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that using the adhesive. So here we have most of the wig done. Now basically after this, all I'm gonna do is add some glitter and some sprinkles and I'm also gonna make a few accessories for the look. But overall you can see that we have a finished cotton candy wig here and I love the way it looks. I did add some blue in here as you guys can see sweeping towards the front like a bang. And a little bit of fluffiness down here just for some hair at the bottom because most of this is gonna be really high up like a beehive. I really love this whole, the way this wig looks like up here. It's so tall, it's so pretty. It looks just like cotton candy and I love it. So I'm basically just gonna be adding the finishing touches to it now and then just doing a few accessories. So now I'm gonna make some cuffs using the same method I used for the wig. So I'm gonna take the polyfill, I'm gonna spray it with some adhesive and attach the roving wool to it. And this is gonna be a really cute little cotton candy bracelet for the look. So here are the cotton candy bracelets I just created and I went in and T-pinned the bracelets but you can also tuck them in like I did with this one and it holds really nicely as well and here's what they look like. Using this glitter from Be Wild, it's a gold hair and body glitter, I'm going to spray the entire wig with this to make it look really sparkly and I really want the wig to glisten like candy and just be really pretty with sparkles so I'm going to add a lot of glitter to the wig now.
Alright you guys, here is the final cotton candy wig. I hope you guys really love this video. I enjoyed making it and this wig is basically a cotton candy dream right now. I love it. I think it came out wonderful and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this today. If you haven't seen my Cotton Candy Girl Halloween makeup, then be sure to check it out. I'm gonna link it right here for you guys to watch. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next tutorial. Thank you.